Perry Bavarian Lane. You know this place is famous. And today we're on Elm Street, it's like right off Young. Today marks our monthly steak journey. The steakhouse of the month is Barbarians. It's very famous in Toronto. So let's go in and check them out. Today we've came into this steakhouse. It's situated downtown Toronto. It's two minutes away from Eaton Center or Dundas Square. Now, this place is called Barbarians Steakhouse. This place on Elm Street, off of Young, has been here forever. This place has been here since 1959. I wasn't even born yet. A steakhouse can establish itself. It's still here after I don't know how many, I can even count that high, like 60 years. It's gotta be pretty good. I mean, it's gotta be something here that people really love. Now, speaking of, there's something here that people love. I'm sure everybody knows their wine cellar is vastly famous. It's one of the biggest and it's one of the most talked about wine cellars in all of Canada, not just Toronto. See, I don't see that. that. That is, these are all wines <laughs> that they offer. You could pick one from here, from here, from here, from the very top, anywhere. They got it. So if you're a wine lover, you don't even have to love steaks. I have nowhere else to recommend but this place. And the gentleman was very nice to recommend New York strip in 12 ounces. Now, because I told him I do not like the Fernet Mignon's distinctive meat taste. The last time I had the Tuscany red wine, it was divine. He also recommended, again, San Primo Tuscany, which I have very good impressions on. There we are. Okay, thank you so much. And speaking of wine, here it is. Wow, I can smell it. This is how I like my wine. I do not want the wine to overpower the stick because the stick is the protagonist, not the wine. Thank you, it looks You're amazing. Welcome. Enjoy it. Thank you. The French onion soup in the keg was good. Now I'm gonna have to see how good this is. I'm gonna try the wine first. I like it. I like it on French onion soup. Looks the part. Wow, it's really thick. It's got a lot of cheese. Look at that. Look at that. This onion soup is pretty supremely good. What hits me on this onion soup is the cheese. This tastes proper. That looks crazy good. Like sour cream, bacon, and the oh yes, please, thank you. Yes. Sounds very good. The steak Sweet looks steak. really good. And although you All see right. those blackish edges, yeah, yeah. wow, that smells out of the world. First cut just made perfect impression with this. It looks the part. When I cut it in, it's amazing. Now I'm gonna try it. It's splashing my mouth with flavors of all kinds. And let me tell you, it really cuts really well. You get a pink, that pinkiness that I always mention in every one of my steak journey videos. You know, the tannis is perfect. That baked potato, this by itself would be a great meal. With a steak, it's perfect. <laughs> Love it how it's almost like mashed potato meat. It is so soft and hard of it. I could totally dig why there are so many patrons coming back. The steak, look at it, let me just look at it. Perfection, no kidding. Oh no, this is a 12 ounce. It's <laughs> really good. It's not a true 12, but more than 12. <laughs> that mash, crazy good. Do you hear what I said? I said that mash. Because when it went in my mouth, I thought it was mash. It's really soft, tender. Oh, is everything? It's amazing. I love how the combination works out. Yeah? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, no, it's good. Perfect. Yeah, thanks for the recommendation. I'm amazed by how even the doneness is throughout the state. Now, although, to be fair, this strip here is very uniform. It's easier to control than this, but regardless, it's controlled very well. Overall, the 
steakhouse as I've been to so far. This probably gives me the most steakhouse feel. This place has got two dining rooms, two private dining rooms, and a two-story wine cellar. Every time I cut it, I want to show you. I just want to show you. Look at it. I mean, that's perfect. This guy is just in perfect position for this to cut it. Enhances that portrayed tenderness. Well done. It is succulent and it is tender. It's so good. This baked potato along with this New York strip and this Tuscany should come as a combo. The flavor of this steak is not a usual flavor. Either their marination or the spices they use or the way they cooked it or the quality of the meat that is used. I would absolutely have this once a week. No question.